Okay, so I had an interview with Centro that I unfortunately did not make, but it is great to see what they have because tomorrow I will stop by and check them out. Look how cute this thing is. But you know, for most people, this is all they need. Nothing bigger. But unfortunately, they don't have the choice to buy something ginormous. Even though, at the end of the day, that big thing will only have the amount of interior space like this. Now, I know this thing looks massive, which it does, but it is so small. It seems to have a manual transmission. Now, that's just what it looks like. Basic, simple, that's all you need. Let's look at this big boy. Hydrogen. Centro minivan. Now this looks like what we're used to here. Okay, now we've seen all this. Let's go with the autonomous chassis. Let's check this out. Now, some company called this a skateboard because you have a chassis, just a flat platform with wheels that you can literally build anything to put on it. Or if you just need to move large cargo like pallets, just put the railing and just put whatever you need on it. It looks like it has a four-wheel disc brake. You can program it with sensors on the ground and around so it goes where you need it to go. Now the next one is the big boy. Now this would be for things like at a port where you need to move, you know, TEUs. But nevertheless, look at that. I chassis 1000. Now, they also have this. And this is what 
that could look like when you put something on top of it. It could be like an automatic vending machine where it just follows a particular route and people at a stadium or somewhere can just get what they need. Or it could just, in the morning, go to a particular location, stay there all day, and then at the end of the night, just drive back home, refuel, recharge, reload, and then do it all over again. So we have a Centro that looks like it's just a head cap. This is the last centro. I keep saying centro, but I think this it's centro. That's what the name is. Because it's two N, C E N N, centro. You got this. Really big. That's a room for a lot of, lot of cargo. I probably wouldn't be able to stand in there, but it's still, oh, and the side door, look how that opens. Now that's interesting. So we have Entric One, Entric One, electric cargo bike, green delivery made simple. Blah, blah, blah all that. Oh, that's a lot of weight for this little thing. Stop speed, 15 miles an hour, range, 31 miles. You know, it gets what's necessary. I mean, that's a big thing. And it is a bike. There are pedals. It's blanking and beeping, saying that it's part. So we have e-brake on the left. We have gear changing, we have a traditional bike bells. All right, look at this, baby, this is cool. Like that, I will drive anywhere. Desert Beaver, oh yeah, bring it. You will see me everywhere with this thing. Let's get a closer look. Really cool seat. Interior, very simple. It looks like it has Alcantara leather. That is not necessary in a thing like this. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Desert Beaver from Centro Auto Group. 